Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about Gatsby Source WordPress Experimental. So this plugin is basically a pre-release experimental version of the upcoming Gatsby Source version 4. So So what we are going to do is we are going to use this plugin to create a Gatsby site wherein we are going to use React and Frontend and we are going to fetch the data from WordPress. So it's going to be a headless setup. Okay, and uh, it is going to be a pre-release for the Gatsby source WordPress version 4. Currently it's, it's version 3 that's running but if you want to try it out the version 4 uh, experimental we can you can try this plugin today and see how it goes okay and as you can see it's written rewritten from the ground up using WP GraphQL for data sourcing as well as custom plugin WP Gatsby okay so what we're going to do is we'll start with the installation okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to install Gatsby CLI so you need to hit it and install Gatsby CLI. I have already done that so I don't need to do it again. The next thing you're going to do is create a Gatsby project. So this Gatsby CLI gives us access to this Gatsby command that allows us to create the Gatsby site and this will be the name of the directory. This will be the project and we are using the experimental version. Okay, So let's hit it and it's going to take some time to just quickly uh, install all of the dependencies so as you can see that it's cloning into WordPress v4 uh, directory and it's going to go ahead and install all of the dependencies and the packages as well okay so while it so while it is installing we're going to set up our WordPress site if it isn't already so what you're going to do is just open up a WordPress site so I have a local WordPress site set up and I'll call it headless or I'll call it decoupled WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install a couple of plugins in your WordPress. Uh, the plugins that you need to install in the WordPress are WP GraphQL, okay, which is this plugin right here. So you have a link there. Hit download and just upload the plugin to your WordPress and the and there's one more plugin which is called WP Graphical, which will give you a GraphQL playground for your WordPress. It's optional if you want to download it or not, but if you do want to use it, it's always good to test your queries before you actually use them. Okay, so this is the plugin, just clone it or just download it and activate it. Okay. So once that is all done, you can see we've got our graphical, we've got our WP Gatsby, we've got a WP GraphQL. So all of these three plugins uh, activated here okay so once that is done uh, you can come over here and here is where you will have your WP GraphQL graphical playground where all of the schemas will be available you can see you've got all of these schemas and you can query whatever you want over here okay so the next thing you need to do is just uh, set up a home page if you if you haven't already so I have I have gone ahead and uh, created a home page already. Okay, so I just want to show that to you. So this is my home page. Because Gatsby is going to fetch all of the pages for you. It's going to create all of the pages for you. So this is my home page. And uh, make sure that you set that up as your home page by going to customize. And then go to home page settings and just make sure this home page is selected uh, the next thing you need to do is just set up your menus if you haven't already so just go over here to appearance menu and make sure you create a menu and just set it up so I've named my menu as primary menu okay so now you can see that it's already installed so what we're gonna do is just go to this directory called WordPress v4 okay and I'm going to open that over here so I've got my file open now we just need to add the configuration by going to Gatsby config 
all we have to do is just put our uh, site URL over here so currently it already has a demo site that is going to serve the data from uh, so let's just use that for now and then we can change it to ours so the next command you need to run is Gatsby develop let's hit it As you can see if you come into package.json and if you check the scripts you can either run Gatsby develop directly or you can run npm run develop it would do the same thing basically okay so now as you can see that it is validating the configurations loading all of the plugins initializing the cache copying the Gatsby file is bootstrapping it's fetching all of the uh, data from the schema which is taxonomy menu content type page category talk com tag comment all of that stuff from WP GraphQL okay uh, which is the plugin that you installed in WordPress backend which is going to bring the power of GraphQL to WordPress okay so now it's going to also create pages so I'm going to explain all of that to you in a moment and now it's bundling stuff okay if you want to learn basics of Gatsby I already have an entire series you can go and check it out uh, the link will be in the description this will just be using this new plugin okay so now you can see that I've got my site being served on localhost 8000 now if I just open it you can see there you go congratulations you've got your Gatsby site up and running you've got your home page sample page blog Gutenberg okay uh, you've got the blog page as well we've got you've got all of your blocks you can click on them and then you can also go to the next blog or previous blog so all of this is the blog page as well you can go back to the home page as well okay so all of these details are there now currently it's serving the data from that demo site that, that I've just shown it to you by going if you check in the Gatsby config this is a site now if I want to make it serve from my own WordPress site all I have to do is just change this part right here I can just say HTTP and then currently I have a local setup so I'll just say localhost 888 and that's decoupled WordPress that's it so I have for you this will be like HTTPS or HTTP your WordPress.com site whatever site you have so this will just be your site URL and then slash GraphQL so that it can fetch all of the data from the GraphQL okay from, from WordPress so now if I check I'll have to rerun this so we're going to run npm run develop which is going to do the same thing which is just run um, Gatsby develop so again it's going to load all of the plugins uh, the Gatsby plugins and uh, fetch all of the data uh, build pages and things like that so let, let's, let's do that now this time it's fetching the data from my WordPress site because that's the URL I have mentioned over there right okay now if I just refresh there you go awesome perfect so now it's fetching the data from my site right of course don't worry about the style and everything because again this is an experimental um, you know plugin that just have some basic styles it doesn't have that much style but you can style it yourself okay so I've got my home page if you want to know what pages are going are already there just 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 go to to 404 so this goes to 404 you can see these are all the pages that I have I can go on any of them right so I can go on inspiration I can go on new posts of course you won't be going on 404 just to be able to go to the page right so we need a menu so the reason why it's not serving menu because you need to tell it to serve it okay so for that what you need to do is you need to go to source in fact let me just uh, give you a walkthrough of all of the files that you see over here okay and then we can get back to the menu so Gatsby config is the place where you have all of the configuration I'm not going to go into the detail of all of this but these are some of the plugins that it uses uh, this is the plugin that we are using over here so whatever plugin you want to put you can just uh, you know put it over here the, the configuration of that this is the URL it's serving and then uh, query depth and timeout all of that information is here okay these are some de debug settings uh, it's going to use it's using a chakra UI for the UI components you can write your own components that's fine it just uses these by default and um, 
and then uh, it also uses the Netlify cache for caching. Uh, 